Hello, my name is Connie Griffin, and I'm the MS4 Assistant of Monroe County Highway Department Stormwater Services. The Stormwater for Homeowners series was developed for adult education outreach to increase awareness of stormwater and the effects of stormwater runoff. The Stormwater Overview presentation is the first in a series, so let's get started. Stormwater is rain, snow, and ice melt that either soaks into the soil or becomes surface runoff. Surface runoff becomes polluted as it comes in contact with these common urban and suburban land uses. Stormwater, which flows over impervious surfaces such as roads, parking lots, and rooftops, collect pollutants along the way. Runoff from paved surfaces can include oils, grease, and toxic chemicals from motor vehicles. Rainwater runoff from rooftops can contain chemicals used in the manufacture of the shingles, traffic pollution, animal waste, and insecticides. Stormwater also comes in contact with pervious surfaces, such as lawns and planted and mulched areas. Pollution examples from these sources can consist of lawn fertilizers, animal waste, and pesticides. Untreated stormwater enters into the county's system of conveyances, such as storm drains, ditches, and channels, and carries pollutants, sediment, and excess nutrients to our local watersheds. What is a watershed? The Environmental Protection Agency simply states it's the land that water flows across or under on its way to a stream, lake, or river. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we are all connected to living and non-living organisms through watersheds. Monroe County has seven watersheds, Bean Blossom Creek, Richland Creek, Indian Creek, Clear Creek, Lake Monroe, Salt Creek, and Little Salt Creek. The arrows overlaid on the county map will help you understand the direction of stormwater flow and how each of the watersheds play a part in contributing to water health. Each one of us can affect the watershed and water quality of all living things downstream of us. So we must all do our part, whether big or small, to protect the Earth's water supply. Stormwater services are funded by taxes, state funding, and local stormwater fees. And this money improves roads, bridges, and implements infrastructure improvements and repairs on our system of conveyances. We address citizen stormwater complaints and review projects to comply with federal, state, and local ordinances. What do I do as an MS4 assistant? MS4 stands for Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System. A MS4 is a system of conveyances and we discharge stormwater to waters of the U.S. As the MS4 assistant to the MS4 coordinator, I'm in charge of six minimum control measures as part of the National Pollutant Discharge and Elimination System Permit, which the county holds as part of the Federal Clean Water Act and Indiana Department of Environmental Management requirements. The six minimum control measures I mentioned are public education and outreach, public participation, illicit discharge detection and elimination, active construction site monitoring, post-construction site monitoring, and good housekeeping of county-owned buildings and facilities. Public education, outreach, and participation are often combined since they are related and overlap. I'll discuss the three groups our programs work with, contractors, K-12 children and young adults and adults living in Monroe County's jurisdiction. I work with the contractors concerning projects 
that will have land disturbing activities of one acre or more or projects that are part of a larger common plan of development such as subdivisions of land and residential subdivisions. I monitor the projects for compliance with items construction general permit. I also provide annual training workshops along with the City of Bloomington for contractors to attend. Several presenters attend and cover the requirements and processes to keep project sites compliant. After the workshop, the presentations are posted on the Monroe County Water Services webpage for anyone interested in viewing our program. Simply click on the title links to view the presentations. In addition to the annual workshop, I work one-on-one -on -one with developers and contractors by having a pre-construction meeting prior to the projects getting started. During this meeting, I provide a construction inspection guide and go through a long list of items to hopefully keep sediment from leaving the construction site and entering our local watersheds. Stormwater Services financially contributes to education, outreach, and participation events in Monroe County, such as Bug Fest, the Monroe County 4-H Fair, Stormwater Calendar Contest, and I provide activity booklets and brochures to kids concerning stormwater, water quality, and being good stewards of our environment and neighborhoods. I've produced several brochures, which cover a wide range of themes. Each brochure consists of a short story and art to keep kids entertained while they learn about stop wasting water, public safety, rain gardens, and the result of pollutants on stream health and insects. This was the first year for the calendar contest. The 2021 theme was Waste No Water. The contest was a success and we plan on making the contest an annual event. The 2022 calendar contest theme will be Stormwater Matters. Adult education consists of rain garden presentations, the Stormwater Services website, and this series, Stormwater for Homeowners. The Monroe County website can be found by going to co.monroe.com dot in dot us and from the home page you can visit stormwater services by clicking on infrastructure stormwater quality when you visit our page you will see a variety of topics such as stormwater management and drainage board meetings agendas and documents reporting stormwater pollution and stormwater fee information we also participate in the monroe county 4-h fair where we meet and greet citizens and discuss stormwater. We provide county roadmaps and stormwater calendars and printed outreach materials. As part of holding a NPDES permit, Monroe County must have programs in place to detect, eliminate, and report illicit discharge to the stormwater system. Detection is conducted during dry weather screenings at county stormwater outfalls or inspections based on complaints. Elimination is handled by educating the public about the proper storage of household, commercial, and industrial products and their proper containment, labeling, and disposal of these items. IDDE reporting is a necessary public duty to protect our water quality. If you suspect a violation of the Monroe County Illicit Discharge Ordinance, you can go to the website and report it anonymously or call me at 812-349-2960. I'll follow up on the concern and take the necessary actions by providing the responsible party or property owner education materials issuing notice of violations and or requesting legal action to be taken if necessary. Contractors go through several requirements before they start land disturbance activities. We conduct inspections to ensure these requirements are being met. Our goal is to help reduce sediment from leaving their project sites. 
One required item is weekly self-monitoring inspections or inspections after measurable rain events. These inspections should eliminate and catch vulnerable hotspots on their project sites. If not, hopefully my routine inspections will catch the problem so I can work with them directly or through our enforcement channels to eliminate the non-compliant issue. Post-construction is after the project has gone through a final inspection and filed a notice of termination with our department and the Indiana Department of Environmental Management Division of Water. The landowner is responsible to keep the stormwater infrastructure on the site functioning and compliant in perpetuity, even if the property transfers to a new owner. Water quality doesn't stop. Is spelled out in their operations and maintenance manual. I make recommendations for proper handling, proper labeling, protected storage, secondary containment, and disposal of these commercial and industrial items. I carry a spill kit in the county stormwater car so I'm ready when accidents happen. County facilities and construction work sites are required to follow occupational safety requirements as part of their storm water pollution prevention plan. Thank you for watching Stormwater Overview, the first presentation in our Stormwater for Homeowners series.